Babs and Besties. Today we're gonna have a little fun with hot glue. Now, hot glue is hot. It's in the name. But we can use it for a variety of different things. I bought some silicone molds on Amazon. Boy, we have a lot of pink here today. I've used them before. We used them to make decorations on our carousel. After that video, I kind of went crazy and searched Amazon for different types. And I found these picture frame molds. Prices were ranging from like $6.99 to $11.99, kind of around there. I thought we could use them to make dollhouse picture frames with hot glue. So let's just give it a try and fill one of the molds with hot glue. This one is pretty large, so let's try this one out first. And I know I need to get the hot glue into all those little crevices. So I'm using the nozzle and pushing it into all of those little crevices. Just get in there so that we can fill all the spaces and we don't end up with a bunch of holes. I'm trying to move kind of quickly. Oh, ran out of glue. But I'm trying to move kind of quickly because I think that if I can get all the glue in there fast enough, then we'll get, it'll settle a little bit and then the end or the back side will be kind of smooth. That's the theory anyway. All right, I think we're good. Now we just have to allow it to dry. While waiting, we might as well fill a few more. This one looks pretty cool, so let's go ahead and fill it with the hot glue and uh, see what happens. Yeah. Let it sit until cool. And this might take a little while depending on how deep the mold is because with a lot of hot glue, it's gonna take a lot longer to dry. This one feels good to go, and I can already see spots where I was totally not even with the glue, but hopefully we can still use it. Since it's silicone, it bends, and we can just easily take it out. And look at that! We made a frame, y'all, out of hot glue! Now, I do see a few areas where I wasn't, like, the neatest, but, you know, hey. So I'm gonna use some little trimmers. These are for, you know, like, doing your nails and just very carefully trim off the excess glue so we can just clean up those lines a little. Depending on how neat you are, this might be one of the more time-consuming parts of this project. All right, looking pretty good. Let's take the next one out and they come out pretty easily. Ooh, this one was supposed to have little holes in it and I was totally not neat here. Look, look at that. That's gonna take me a minute to clean up. This is a good time to just put something on that you can listen to, like a podcast or a YouTube live. Hint, hint, cause you might be here for a minute. Looking good. Let's check on the other two. We have a nice little grouping here. This one is definitely my favorite, and this one is a close second. Let's paint it. I'm using a golden brown acrylic paint to get into all of those little crevices and give us a base coat. Then I go over it with gold. I'm using a metallic gold acrylic paint to make a gold frame for the dollhouse. Then we can cut a small piece of paperboard and paint a little dollhouse painting. I'm just going to tap it with some darker colors to make it look kind of aged. Glue the hot glue frame on top to make a mini work of art. Hmm, now where should I hang this? On a piece of foam board. I glue down scrapbook paper with a white wooden plank print, then flip it over to the other side 
Score two lines. These are about an inch and a quarter apart, so we can bend the foam board to make one of our binder rooms. It's like a hidden doll room light because it has no floor and we mainly decorate the walls, but it still folds up for easy storage. Let's cut out a small window, take the cutout, flip it over, cut it into half inch and quarter inch strips, glue them around the opening, tape clear plastic in the back to make a window. Now we can take our foil tape and our hot glue frames, cut the tape or foiling to fit behind, glue them onto the wall to make a gallery wall of mirrors. If we shine a little light through the window, this could be a really nice little backdrop for our dolls. I can usually get two binder rooms out of one piece of foam board, so I made a second one in black and white, then painted the frames black and glued them onto the wall to make a backdrop perfect for Halloween. This silicone mold has little animals. Looks like a dog, another dog with a long nose. Um, that might be like a pug. And I think that's a small cat. These two look like a good size for the dollhouse. I'm going to fill them with the hot glue and there are little ear holes. So we need to make sure we get in those spaces so we get our little ears and then just try to fill the whole thing. This is definitely gonna take a while. That's a lot of glue. Once cooled, let's remove it from the mold. Ah, oh, it worked! I can see his little sleeping face and his little legs are all curled, adorable. But I also see some air bubbles. Ugh. Let's try it again. Only this time, I'm gonna focus on just getting a thin layer on the bottom first, then fill it in. Now let's remove them. I still see a few spots, but it does look a lot better. Let's go ahead and clean it up. Paint a white base coat. Let's add a little pink inside the ears, on the face and the paws. Then use black paint to add some more markings along with the nose. I try to create a little bit of a fade as the colors go from black to white to paint our little hot glue sleeping pup. Now what can we make if we don't have a mold? On a scratch piece of paper, let's draw a circle and then a circle on the inside and we can divide that circle into slices. Now let's cover it with a layer of glue and allow it to dry. Add the outer ring. We're gonna make this a little thicker. Once dried, I use the nozzle to add texture and add a little more glue to the center. Paint the whole thing a light cream color. Once dried, let's add a little red paint, add a little brown around the edges, Let's add a little more red. We can tone that down a little with more of the cream. Once dried, remove it from the paper, paint the back. Let's go ahead and cut out two of the slices. I take one of the slices and reattach it using lines of hot glue. So it is suspended in air. Touch up the paint. Let's make a glaze using an orange washable marker. I color on some clear plastic, mix in a little Mod Podge, then brush it over the cheese and the sauce. To give it a little shine and make pizza, 
for the dolls. So there are a few projects that we can do with hot glue. And I went ahead and painted the other dog the same way. That way we can switch them out and pretend like it's the same dog with different poses. Thank you for joining us while we made some miniatures with hot glue. I found all of my silicone molds on Amazon by searching for silicone molds frames or silicone molds dogs. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff and the frog vlog. And we will see you next time.